Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Albatross Storm! On the way we go! Right guys, I'm going to try and fit in Tiff's, it's not a nice colour, Defender, right? So, let's try and fit in this and see what happens. Let me get my pit vipers on. See? <laughs> you need to wind. Oh, Wait, wind the window down. Oh. You are a strong man. Jeez. <laughs> there you go. Do you want the keys? Wait, hang on, let me see. How have you seen uh, Luke's mental change from the start of um, prep to now? I think at the start of the prep he was just getting really excited. He was really happy, just like, you know, really raring to go. Just the normal Luke that we normally see every day. From the start of the prep to now, I think it's massively... I wouldn't say change so much as the Europe's approach. I think it's pretty much the same. Um, he's still been busy with work and stuff like that, so he's been focused on other areas. But now that he's down here, I think it's 100% just fully mentally prepared and ready to go. And do you think that he's um, very focused? Like... Oh yeah, well I just want to stay out of his way. I don't want to talk yeah. to him. Just really? If he needs me, I'm there, but I just I won't talk to him. Great. And what's, what's it like? Compared to Europe, he was very, I wouldn't say agitated when he was going for the title, but he was just very, his head wasn't in any conversation that me and him would have. Yeah. Whereas this time, I don't know if it's a confidence thing that he's got now, because he's very comfortable, he's very funny, happy, jokey and stuff when he's at home. But when it's time to train and when it's time to go to work, yeah, he switches, it's like night and day. Where's my hat? It's in my bag. Let me see it. Where's my stove? I'll get you, I'll make you 10 pounds with one post, right? What? I'll make you 10 grand with one post. <laughs> Simon. Put uh, Paul Dwyer's Instagram in the bio and guys, support one of my best friends. <laughs> anyway, help him. <laughs> you know, swipe up. He is the reigning, undefending, Europe's strongest man, Blue Storm! The reigning, undefending, world's strongest man, welcome Tom! We are in Sheffield and we are here for Britain's Strongest Man. Probably the second biggest title you can win for a British athlete, obviously the world's been first. For me it's a, it's a national title, obviously I wanted to do all three this year. Down world, Covid stopped me doing Europe's and I'm going to win Britain's. Britain's I've had a really good track record with, you know I started 30th, 9th, 5th, 3rd, 2nd, so every year I've improved. So the only way I can do now is to win it. And, Keep improving. I've never ever slipped down for Britain, so this is the only kind of giant show that I've always improved in. So I, yeah, I look forward to it. And when you say Britain's strongest man to any member of public in the UK, even big massive hardcore fans, they will say this is one of the biggest titles, if not the second biggest title you can win. So yeah, it's a very special title for every British athlete. So what we can actually be doing for Luke, because he just felt a bit um, getting prepped, actually, and feeling more aligned with what actually he's doing. Uh, he had a, kind of an impingement in his uh, AC joint and just really restricted in thoracic. So what we're going to actually try to do is apply some, some PNF, as we say, just so we can make everything working better. We're going to specifically adjust some segments in his spine uh, so it can be a freer and then give a bit of input so it can actually uh, feel more comfortable with the movement he's going to be doing, stronger, and smash that uh, dumbbell. Jeez, oh, okay. Yeah. Now lift her yeah, you know that you've had 120, you've had 200. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 That's much better. Feels... 
Does it feel stiff? Like it's not catching. Before it was, before it's just... I want to come up and work. Yeah, that'd be class, man. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Competing in, in Britain's Strongest Man for so long, this is the first time I've ever felt like I can win it. I remember last year, they asked me the question, not oh, who do you think is going to win Britain's Strongest Man? I'm like, oh, well, Graham Hicks looks good, Adam Bishop, or you know, all these other guys apart from myself. Like, what oh, do you think you can win? I said, yeah, I think I've got a good chance. I didn't believe that, but now, like, I genuinely believe I can beat any of these guys. You know, I've beat them every show um, I've done. So, um, again, yeah, just do what I can do, do the, the best I've ever done before in these events, and I'll win Britain's Strongest Man. Next year, you're going to leave a long lasting impression for these guys before you return in February. Well, thank you so much for the interview. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Stolman, 
strongest man in the world, and a great first event. He's happy with his points. Yeah, British Royals, man. This has always been in the corner, in the back of my mind, since after Worlds, you know, obviously, like I said, Worlds, Europe, Britain's was the plan this year. Europe's went out the window, so then I was always focused on Britain's, even when I was doing, you know, kind of the Glasgow, the other comps, Britain's has always been the one I've had my eye on, and uh, it in the back of my mind, obviously the events came out, couldn't ask for a better set of events. Leading up to Worlds, after this, Britain's Royals, man, I'm just going to see what I can do, you know, there's Britain's again in February, if they go by, and then there's Europe's in April, so, you know, it's again, two big shows that I on before Worlds this year, next year, which is my goal to win all three in a year, so it's, but then Worlds is in June, so it's kind of hard because, you know, I could sacrifice not winning Europe's again to win Worlds, so, but my goal is obviously Worlds Royals, man, as soon as the season's over, on to the next Worlds. With my family there, you know, um, mum's the biggest fan, but even before I say my mum, my dad travelled with my mum everywhere she went, so, Together as a team, you know, they were always there with me. But obviously my mum was the one that was in people's faces and that's what my dad's dude does now, you know, he takes my mum's space. So, yeah, obviously, you know, performing for my dad is very special. In Glasgow I could do that, you know, I performed in front of my, nearly my whole family. Nearly did, you know, I did a 99.9% great show, just that 1%. So, tomorrow, yeah, it's going to give something back to my dad. You know, I need to kind of let him see me win a title live this year instead of just over the phone like they did at World Strollers, man. Um, so I wanted to experience that. Yeah, obviously, I mean, it feels good winning World's Strongest Man and then not doing really very much, not put, like doing very good performances in some other giant slides I've done this year. I think it's just with the media and, you know, not much rest and just, you know, not re recovering uh, good. But um, this was always in the back of my mind, Britain's Strongest Man, and uh, I came like the Tom Stockton from World's Strongest Man. I recovered good, the great people around me just relaxed, chilled out, and did everything that World's Strongest Men should do. And uh, I proved it. I, that today, you know, the dumbbells were flying, the deadlift to keep up with Bishop, and that was a thing that I think that changed it for me. And then uh, to win the loading and then win the stones, it's, it's a nice redemption from Glasgow. But, but I wasn't, Glasgow was never in my mind, you know, I won this comp by six points, and I, you know, I believe if this Tom Stockman turns up to 90% of comps, I can win it. And uh, I'm always going to get better, I'm always going to improve. And, uh, you know, I'm, not, I'm buzzing, man, you know, Britain's strongest man. I've, Improved every single year at this competition, and uh, I finally won it. So it's a great, great feeling. And uh, to be a double champ, it's it's cool, man. It's very cool. Like, so. How does it feel that you've uh, kept to your promise? Yeah, I mean, it feels good. So, like I said, this is the only giant's life that I've improved that every year. And uh, me and Bish had a great battle when, when he won it in 2020, and it was the roles reversed this year. Uh, but like I said, I recovered and just kept my cool. You know, I listened to chilled out music and. Every event, I didn't think about every event, I think that event by event, and I, I think that's how I want it. You know, I didn't think about the stones, didn't think about anything else. It was event by event, and just, you know, took a chilled out kind of approach to it all, and just, you know, kept my cool and under pressure, and it was a, it's a great, great feeling, man. It's so cool. I am here with the new Britain's Strongest Man. Amazing. Tom just smashed it, no mistakes. So proud of Tom for doing it. Um, and Bish and Hexie, amazing. Unfortunately, I didn't make the podium, I missed it by a point, but I'm so happy um, to see Tom come back, show that he is the strongest man in the world. Absolutely amazing. We got uh, three, three massive titles in that Stormman household, like 
I think we've just made a legacy here. We've uh, made a statement to the world now, and uh, next year's going to be a massive, massive year. If me and Luke can take this performances that we have this year, we're going to be un unbelievable next year. You know, it's uh, it's been a great day today for both of us, and uh, yeah, now we can kind of chill out and recover for next year. We'll chill out yeah. after we meet all these wonderful people. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit of a queue, so we've got to get photos, sign some things. You're going up the road the rest. Yeah, I'm driving up the road tonight. Stay safe, smile, and stay party. Party in the Highlands, 2, 2 a.m. tonight. And don't forget to ring our little bell. Ding, 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 ding. World's strongest and Britain's strongest, man. What an amazing event, firstly, uh, for both guys. I've kind of lost my voice a little bit, screaming all night for them. Once he got to the Atlas Stones, the final event, I kind of knew that he was going to win it. And uh, to see a friend of mine you know, win that in person was just such an amazing feeling. You know, the future is so bright for these guys. And uh, Luke made a statement uh, that his legacy he wanted to leave was he wanted to be you know, the, the best ever. And I truly believe that Luke and Tom will be the best strongmen in the history of this event, uh, of this sport. I mean, the fact that they're brothers, the fact that they're dominating the sport that they're in the same family is just uh, is mind blowing. What they're doing, and especially you know they're coming out of such a small little town in Scotland. You've been to the gym that we go to. Yeah. yeah How yeah. does that compare to like other gyms? Well, that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you look at some of the, the gyms like in Dubai and America, uh, they're so high tech, and they have like scientists checking how their recovery speed is and everything, and they've got so much going into it. You have a small, tiny, kind of dark, little, grungy, old school gym, man, and it's yeah, just, yeah. it's just what you need. And uh, yeah, I think um, having a facility like that, you just have to have one thing, and that's just brute hard. Uh, a, a good hard mindset, hard workforce, and just real strong man mentality, you know, it's hard work before anything else, and that is showing here today. I'm very happy and very honoured to say that I saw this live today. It's unbelievable. The, the progress has been crazy, and it's good to see how much they're enjoying it now. So I feel like before there was more nerves, but now they're just enjoying it and they're crushing it. So it's good to see. Are you happy that your man's world's strongest man and Britain's strongest man? I'm happy because you'll be happy. <laughs> it's a relief. Honestly, I was so tense and now I'm like, fine. But then I know that he's just going to be so hungry for the next one and it's just going to be the same again. <laughs> it's a constant cycle. You don't get a break from it, do you? Mentally or physically. You'll be all right. It's been around, haven't it? Right? He'll have a, a sore neck in the morning, do you think? If he's lifting like that. Is that how he lifts your head up to bed every night? <laughs> Absolutely delighted for him. Absolutely delighted. Everybody was hoping it would happen, and it has happened. So, uh, chuffed a bit. Gad for Luke. Yeah. Really gad. That's the way it goes, you know. You, you can't be 100% sure you're going to win or whatever, but... Are you proud of what they've done recently? 100%. Yeah? 100%. It's, to me, what I think it is, is the, the work ethic. Like, my dad, he ended up here over in uh, Britain, <laughs> in, in Scotland, right at the end of the war. Maybe a year still to go for the end of the war. So he had to come over here because uh, he couldn't go back to Poland. The war was still going on. For a man, couldn't speak any English, didn't know anybody, didn't have any family, and he had to make a go of it. So his work ethic was second to none. He became a, a successful contractor, uh, he had four kids, I'm, I'm one of four kids, three sisters, and he did really well. So that kind of work ethic went with me, I was lucky with my work, maybe not lucky, but I always said the harder you work, the luckier you get. People said you're lucky, I said I'm not lucky, I just worked hard. The boys are doing the same, exact same. They're working hard and achieving, achieving things yeah. that's never been done before. But again, it's their work ethic, their togetherness, the brotherhood, incredible. How nice are they? Um, my life is made. 
I'm so happy right now. I feel like I've just won the world's strongest man. So thank you to everyone. To all those that donated to buy me a pair of Crocs, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, oh, and congratulations to Tom for winning, to Adam Bishop for coming second place, and to Graham Hicks for coming third. Mad, mate. The real winner of Britain's strongest man was me. It was you, you got your blue, blue cross. I can buy him. They're so comfy. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you feel okay? Well, like, uh, like, uh, like a warrant out for my arrest because of them. Oh, Jesus, because she hates them. Yeah, she hates them. So comfy. I messaged her the other day and I was like, oh, what size looks? Um, what size looks? She was like, oh, 12. Wow. And oh, that'd mean better getting them a present. She was like, that's dead nice here. And I just sent her the Amazon order. She was like, oh, what have I ever done wrong to you? I was like, oh, <laughs> Mate, you're a brave mum. That's so much class. <laughs> I just realised you've got to go and compete next week. Uh, I'm Friday. <laughs> is it called Friday? Friday, Saturday. I thought it was Saturday. Oh no. I just, uh, <laughs>